Hello, I'm Helen from the Writing Development Centre, back to answer some more of your academic skills queries in You Ask the WDC. And the question that we've got today is, how do I write a piece of coursework fast? Now, this is in the context of some exams being replaced by alternative coursework assignments. So instead of having that long lead in time um, where you can work towards an essay over a period of weeks, some of us are having to find that we're doing coursework pretty quickly. Um, so maybe in a week or two where we would perhaps have had, you know, a month or two. So how do you write a piece of coursework but fast? Um, I wanted to share a technique with you called free writing, which might help you to firstly get going quickly, but also to kind of break down the process of writing so that you can focus more easily on each section at a time. Um, obviously, it's a very stressful time for all of us at the moment, and that's not going to help focus on an assignment with a clear head. And you might find that your thinking's quite muddled and that you're making starts and not sure where they're going with things because of the pressure that's on you. So free writing might be a way to try and get going with it, but also to clarify some of that muddy thinking. The reason that a lot of us find writing slow under normal circumstances is because we're trying to take on too much. So when we sit down and write, what's happening is that we are thinking our thoughts. We're also planning what we're going to include and assembling our evidence. We're structuring it. We are thinking about style and how best to phrase things. We're also editing our work as we go and making judgments about whether that sounds good or not, whether that captures what you mean or not. And if with every sentence, all of that is going on at the same time, it really bogs you down. So if you're finding writing slow, that might be part of the problem. So I wanted to begin with anyway, to tease out the first stage of that problem and separate that so that you've got a nice clean start to your writing. So this technique called free writing. Um, it's a technique that will hopefully, if you're finding it too daunting and overwhelming, help you make a start because that in itself is, you know, kind of tricky sometimes. Um, it helps you warm up and get in the mood for writing, getting your thinking going. It helps to free up your thinking as well. So this kind of writing, it's not a piece of writing for somebody else. So it's not the kind of writing where you're talking to a reader. This is the kind of writing where you are working out your thoughts for yourself. It's like talking out loud to yourself only on a screen or a piece of paper. So you've got a record of those thoughts. But really, for yourself, you're just seeing where their thinking's going. Um, so it can generate new ideas. It can also work through any tangents, anything that uh, is part of your reading, part of your thinking, but really ultimately is not going to make the cut. It's a side issue, but it can help you at least to work that through so that you can set it to one side later on. It can help you to work through any blocks in your writing. Either that's writer's block where you're just gone blank. Or it's a block where you find maybe you're going in circles or there's a bit of an argument where you can't untease it because you're not sure how to move from one point to the next. Um, so it helps you to figure out what's going on in your writing as well. So it's writing about writing. So how does it work? It's very simple. Um, all you do is you set a timer for 10 minutes, no more than that. Um, just 10 minutes. So as a new strategy to try, this is pretty low risk. Give it a go. If it doesn't work for you, it's only 10 minutes down the drain, but see how it works for you. So during that 10 minutes, you write. You don't stop. If you go blank, then you write about that. I've gone blank. Why have I gone blank? What is it that I'm thinking about? What have I got stuck on? And you just see if you can move your thinking on from that. So it's a stream of consciousness. So don't stop. Um, full sentences to give your ideas room to breathe and expand. So not in bullet points or shorthand. Don't edit this. Don't judge your work. Don't look back because nobody else is ever going to see this. And if you start bringing in that element of editing and judging and thinking about how to phrase things, it's going to bog you down. So just go with it. Don't look back. Don't stop. Don't judge. Don't edit. Nobody else will ever see this but you. Um, it's not a draft. This is not a first draft of your essay. That's where you're beginning to talk to somebody else. Um, so don't treat it like that. Just treat it as a thinking out loud exercise. So you set your timer, you write without stopping or looking back or judging or editing. And then afterwards, you can pull out anything useful. 
you could have a think about, okay, what ideas popped out there and surprised me? I don't know if you've ever found this, but when I'm writing very often, because it's the first time I've had to articulate my thoughts, new ideas and new connections pop into my head. So this is a way of, of capitalising on that, catching them. So did anything pop out that surprised you? Did you work through any sticking points or blocks? Did you manage to tease out an idea? Um, did you manage to create any new ideas? So you might want to go back and actually highlight bits in that bit of writing that you might want to pull out and put into an actual draft, but put them in a different document. The one that you've just created is not a draft. It's just you talking to yourself. So that's free writing. It's fairly straightforward. But like I say, if you're thinking, I'm not sure if that will work for me, give it a go. It's only 10 minutes and you'll actually be surprised how much you can achieve in that shorter space of time. Whether it's just generating new ideas, getting going, or whether you're actually working through some kind of block in your own thinking. But give it a go and we'll be back with more tips on how to do assignments quickly when they're a replacement for an exam.